They came, they conquered, and then they kind of disappeared into obscurity again. A tear flowed down the face of the beautiful game last night, wrote Henry Winter in The Guardian the morning after Greece won Euro 2004, the greatest Euros upset of all time, and led by the German veteran, a three-time Bundesliga winner, Otto Rehagel. He's an old guy that, what can this guy change to our national team? Maybe he doesn't have the, the appetite to, to, to give us, to give things to our football. He's uh, the most successful uh, manager in the history of uh, our football. Uh, he was something perfect. And sure, there have been other European Championship upsets, like Denmark beating Rinus Mikkels Holland in 92. Romania somehow sent Kevin Keegan's England packing in 2000. And of course, Neckar Stadium 88. But Greece's 2004 win tops them all. It was a magical summer for Greece in that uh, season. The, the economy of my country was at a, at a very good state. Everybody was financially perfect. Uh, we had these successes uh, at sports. Everybody was at the streets. For a team that had made just two major appearances, the 1980 Euros and USA 94, failing to either win a game or score a solitary goal in either, this was going to be different. But drawn in a group with Spain, Russia and the host Portugal, there was no expectation from the Greek football public. Basically just to, to enjoy the games. <laughs> Not necessarily enjoyable, of course, for the neutral. And their clash with Portugal's golden generation opened the tournament. With Luis Figo, Cristiano Ronaldo, Pauleta, Rui Costa, Manis, Jorge Adrande, all these fantastic players. And I am sure that Portugal never believed what would happen to them. What happened was a 2-1 loss. Home fans stunned. While England were busy conceding twice to Zidane in at a time, losing 2-1 to France in round one, none of the other major sides were laying down an early marker. Spain had beaten Russia all right and Greece awaited. Werder Bremen won the German title in May 2004, but Angelos Caristeras' four league goals that season were not responsible for nudging Bayern into second. In fact, not one of his goals changed the overall outcome of those games. That incredibly talented Spain, of course, would go on to be the heartbeat of world football for a decade. And as you may recall, we're just off the back of making the 2002 quarterfinals. But on this day, Carasteras' first championship goal denied them the win in Porto. 1-1 it finished and Spain would pay a big price. So on Greece went to meet France in the quarters. Ray Hagel, with some input from the Greece players, struck on a blueprint. Right wing cross, header, goal and a 1-0 win. And it did for France. And out they went, along with Denmark, Sweden and England, at Loveless Ricardo denying Darius Vassell, with Portugal, Holland and the Czechs joining Greece in the semis. Pavel Nedved was a really exceptional footballer, and the early 2000s was a really exceptional time for him. Ballon d'Or and Serie A Footballer of the Year 2003, Czech Footballer of the Year 2004, and was eventually included in the Euros team of the tournament. But crucially, he only managed 40 minutes of the semis. I'm not a magician, but I believe that uh, if Nedved uh, was staying on the pitch, maybe uh, the future of the Greek national team would be different. His injury played a, a vital role for the elimination of his club, of his team. We believe that the Czech Republic team was the best of the tournament. We feel that uh, it was the strongest opponent that we faced in uh, during this competition. With Nedved off, the game finished nil-nil after normal time, and then in time added on at the end of the first period of extra time, cross from the right, Delas this time with the goal, 1-0 Greece. The only game ever decided by a silver goal. And suddenly they were headed to the Estadio de Luz for a repeat of the tournament opener. Big Phil Scolari and his star-studded team must have felt it was written in the stars. A real stretch to think that Greece could actually upset the odds. But so it went. Ball from the right. A corner this time. Caristeras header. 1-0 Greece. <laughs> you know, it is uh, like what we say. You know what they will do, but you can't stop it. We had some very, very good players. Of course, they were a better team than Greece. But uh, as a whole, Greece proved to be more clever than them. The defense so great, we, we didn't give to these great players space. And uh, if you see again the final, they didn't create so many great chances. Czech Republic pushed us uh, more than, uh, than Portugal. 
So close for Portugal, but instead the great Eusebio had to hang the winner's medals on Greece. As for their legacy, they never did make World Cup 2006 or even feel any real benefit from such a major win. And we all believe that it will be the start of something very, very good. It proved that it didn't help us, the winning of this uh, Euro. We had this chance to restructure our football, but nothing, but nothing changed. Everything stayed the same. And, and I would say that uh, maybe things went worse. And tears did flow following their win. Not all lamenting Greece's triumph.